what is up everybody i hope y'all have an awesome day today's video is a one year update on the 2017 chevrolet ss it's been a little over a year i got it in april of 2017 so i thought it'd be a perfect time to do a quick update you know a quick one year review of what i still think of the car if i've had any problems with it so let's get started so i got this car april 2017 when chevrolet was running 20 percent off on these cars i wanted to get a manual transmission to be honest um, but they only had this one left with the 20 percent discount on i didn't get there in time to get the manual transmission they only had two of those in this automatic so but anyway i got a really good deal on this so that's why i went with the automatic because it was going to be a daily driver anyway. I know you can drive manual in traffic and stuff, and I'm perfectly fine doing that, but it makes it just a little bit easier if you have an automatic transmission. Right after I got it, though, I did a full ceramic coating. So this car has been ceramic coated for over a year. Uh, I did it myself through Adams Polishes. Uh, they make a ceramic coating kit. It took about 20 hours to get the coating done. Uh, the car is very dirty, by the way, because I just got back from doing a road trip with it. But it took about... Uh, about 20 some hours so 20 20 25 hours you do have to polish the paint out uh, to do it and it has kept the car looking like brand new really from the get-go uh, it has done an excellent job of protecting I actually had a bunch of tree sap I made the mistake of parking underneath a tree and I had like four or five spots of tree sap on the hood and it like rolled up in my fingers and it came right off the paint didn't do anything to the paint which is pretty amazing uh, wheels are ceramic coated as well uh, you know, the whole car is coated basically and it has done a fabulous job. I highly recommend doing a ceramic coating on your car when you first get it to protect it. Basically it locks the paint in as it is brand new, which is pretty awesome. Uh, in terms of any problems I've had with it, I've had zero problems. Uh, it has been very reliable as a car with 7,000 miles on it should be. Uh, I have had no problems whatsoever. I have done one oil change and one tire rotation. Uh, I did tire rotation side to side because you can't do, you know, crisscross or front to back on these because they're staggered wheels. The rears are wider than the front. So I did do one tire rotation. Tire wear, you know, I do get questions on this. The tire wear has actually been pretty good. These are the rear tires, um, which is usually what wears first. And they got plenty of tread left on them. Uh, you know, I've seen guys wear these out in like 8,000 miles, which I'm assuming they're tracking the car like every weekend because I don't know how I drive this thing like it's meant to be driven and The tires are about I'd say 70% there still uh, So I don't know how you wear those out that fast to be honest um, In terms of like things that kind of are an annoyance to me. I have one thing that does bother me in the headliner I tend to have a rattle kind of up in this area right here now it doesn't matter if the sunshade is back or you know closed or, or open I think there's a wiring harness up here that is rattling it's only when it's cold though so in the summertime I don't hear it and it's only on really rough roads so or if I have like the sport suspension and track mode it's the only time I hear it so it doesn't bother me that much to pull the entire headliner down and have, you know, GM try to fix it warranty-wise. So, I'm not going to bother with it, really. So, because you can cause all sorts of problems. You can cause even more rattles if you pull headliner down, just the way it goes. So, I'm just going to leave it because it's so, you know, minor. And it does kind of annoy me sometimes, but it's not that big of an annoyance to have the car torn apart. Other than that, the car has been great. I absolutely love the car still. I still think it's a perfect fit for me. And there's some dirt right there this thing's gonna be getting the bath when I'm done here uh, so yeah I still think it's a perfect car for me and you know in terms of value for what you get you get an excellent car you get 415 horsepower I had the 20% off discount so I'm actually a couple of years ahead on depreciation which you know that's the only reason I got the car otherwise I would have kept my G8 uh, so you know I, I did that in the, in the mindset if I did ever sell it I could come out you know what I have into it or a little bit of head actually that's the only reason why I got rid of the G8 was because this deal was really good and plus it was a newer car and you know it has the LS3 I always wanted to try an LS3 out so I might still modify it I don't know yet it might I don't know yet I kind of like driving a stock to be honest because you just kind of beat on it and it doesn't you have to worry about anything it's it's stock so uh, I know the engines are really reliable on these even under boost so I don't know yet what I'm going to do there. I still i am on the fence about it because I've just been enjoying the car, really. I mean, some people get so caught up in tearing apart a brand new car that 
you just don't enjoy the car for when it's actually new and you can just drive it. So that's what I've been doing lately with it. Yeah, it's still an excellent car. Uh, is it practical for me right now? It is, but I don't know if it's going to be practical enough for me, you know, down the road because it's it's still a rear-wheel drive sedan. And I live in northern Colorado and we get some pretty good sized snowstorms where, you know, you get a foot of snow on the roads and this car sits pretty low. I know a Blizz Axe and this and that, you know, I've driven rear wheel drive for years and this and that. Trust me, when you live in the country in Colorado, you need to have a truck. And I do have a truck. I got a 2002 Avalanche 2500 uh, that me and my dad actually did the lift kit on and we built that truck up. So I'm not going to be selling that truck. It's terrible gas mileage, by the way. It gets like eight miles to the gallon. So that's why. At some point, I'm not saying now, I'm saying months down the road, or maybe a year from now, I might end up getting rid of the SS just so I can get maybe like a diesel truck or something more practical. Or I might go a completely different direction. I might go, you know, try to get something even faster in a sedan form and then just live with the gas mileage and the avalanche. That's the one thing I'm still rolling around in my head. I haven't yet decided because I really do like this car. Or do I play around with this? Do I supercharge it? Do I do headers? You know, just leave it at NA. I don't know yet, so I'm still thinking on that. It takes me a while to roll through this because these are big decisions, you know. These are, you know, a lot of money and big decisions for something like that. But for right now, the car is perfect, so I'm keeping the car. I love the car a lot. It's been really reliable for me. It sounds great. It looks great. So I'm going to be enjoying it for the summertime and hopefully be making some videos for you guys. Uh, I want to do a video, just an update video specifically on the ceramic coating. So I might do that when I go wash it just so I can show you how the paint still beads. Because it beads like it's, it was coated yesterday. It's pretty amazing stuff actually. So I might do that video. Uh, a couple videos on the Corvette coming up that I want to do. Uh, we might have a new project starting up with our 68 Camaro. We might be doing an engine swap on that or an engine rebuild. So I might do a new video series for that. I think that'd be kind of cool to show you guys through the process. Basically, the engine in our Camaro is gone bad. It, it needs to be replaced. And uh, me and my dad are thinking about just doing it ourselves, pulling the engine, having it rebuilt by somebody that gets a dyno tune, and then we drop it back in the car with a rebuilt four speed. So I might be making some videos on that. But anyway, there's gonna be plenty of bow tie muscle on the channel as there should be. So I will continue to try to kick out some videos here during the summertime when the weather's nice. And I hope you guys will be back around. Hit be hitting that subscribe button and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching guys and have an awesome day.